क्लास एट साइंस चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन पॉल्यूशन ऑफ एयर एंड वाटर वी विल सी द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एक्सरसाइज ए आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चंस इन नॉट मोर देन ट्वेंटी वर्ड्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट डू यू मीन बाई पॉल्यूटेड एयर और वाटर आंसर इज पॉल्यूटेड एयर और वाटर मीन्स सच टाइप ऑफ एयर और वाटर दैट कंटेन्स सब्सटांसिस दैट आर हार्मफुल टू अस एज वेल एज टू द एनवायरनमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू मैंशन एनी थ्री ऑब्जर्वेशंस दैट इंडिकेट दैट ए गिवन सैम्पल ऑफ वाटर इज पॉल्यूटेड answer will be following three observations indicate that a given sample of water is polluted it tastes bad it smells bad oil or grease is floating over it now question number 3 what is chemical pollution of water answer is if water pollution is caused by discharge of harmful chemical substances into water bodies then the type of water pollution is known as chemical pollution of water we can write another answer for this same question in different way we can say chemical pollution of water means water that has been polluted by the discharge of harmful what we will say harmful chemical substances into water bodies question number 4 name six chemical pollutants of water answer is pesticides fertilizers mineral acids phosphates detergents synthetic chemicals question number 5 name four water borne diseases dysentery typhoid cholera and hepatitis next question number 6 what do you mean by potable water water that is fit for drinking is known as potable water question number 7 How is activated charcoal made, and what is its role in the purification of water? Activated charcoal is a special type of charcoal made by heating ordinary charcoal in vacuum. Our next question is, what is its role? So we will write: Activated charcoal can interact with and absorb a range of toxins, drugs. viruses bacteria fungus and other chemicals found in water question number 8 why is bleaching powder used in the purification of water answer is bleaching powder is used in the purification of water because the chlorine gas released kills the pathogens the residual effect of this chlorine protects water from getting infected or contaminated with pathogens now exercise b answer the following questions in not more than 40 words question number 1 is how does carbon monoxide affect us so answer is when we inhale air the oxygen of the air combines with hemoglobin of the blood to form oxyhemoglobin oxyhemoglobin runs through blood vessels and gives up its oxygen to cells which use it for respiration but carbon monoxide displaces oxygen from oxyhemoglobin to form carboxyhemoglobin the formation of carboxyhemoglobin cuts off supply to cells and can kill a person without warning as it is colorless and odorless
now question number 2 is what is the advantage of using cng in preference to petrol or diesel in automobiles cng contains methane which on burning produces much less pollutants than petrol or diesel cng produces the fewest emissions the operational cost of vehicles running on cng is comparatively low as compared to those running on petrol diesel etc now question number 3 discuss three methods of preventing water pollution answer is following three methods should be used for preventing water pollution number 8 treatment of sewage sewage should be treated in sewage treatment plants which allow only clean water to be discharged into a river or lake point number b proper disposal of dead bodies dead body should be cremated or buried and not disposed of in a river or lake etc point number c we have treatment of industrial wastes industrial wastes must be treated to remove harmful substances mainly chemicals before discharging them into river lake etc now exercise c answer the following questions in not more than 100 words question number 1 name three pollutants except dust and soot of air and mention their sources so answer is three pollutants other than dust and soot of air and their sources are column 1 we will write pollutants column 2 we will write sources number a carbon monoxide source is the incomplete combustion of fuel in vehicles another source is the incomplete another source is the incomplete combustion of coal in thermal power plants number b oxides of nitrogen this is pollutant name sources are the combustion of fuels like petrol diesel kerosene coal etc number c chlorofluorocarbons cfcs this is the pollutant name answer is source 1 point number 1 leaking refrigerators and air conditioners another source is spray cans now question number 2 describe eutrophication so answer is pesticides and fertilizers are added to crops plants trees etc by far the farmers and other people these are discharged into water bodies by the run off from agricultural land these extra fertilizers when they reach the water bodies they increase the growth rate of aquatic plants weeds etc algae also grow at good speed and cover the whole water bodies creating algal bloom all these doesn't allow sufficient amount of sunlight to enter into water bodies also makes the water bodies extremely deficient in dissolved oxygen badly affecting aquatic life this process is known as eutrophication now question number 3 describe an activity to show that alum helps the suspended particles of water to settle down answer is we will take two similar glasses containing equal volumes of muddy water and level them as a and b we can prepare muddy water by mixing a teaspoonful of mud from our garden with the water in a glass we will crush a small crystal of alum between the folds of a paper and add it to glass a 
we will stir the water in two glasses and allow them to stand side by side within a short while we will find that the mud has settled down with clear water above it in glass a but the water is still not clear in class in the glass b